Good day and welcome to this MECAD Minute. My name is Dion Legranzi and in today's session I will be showing you how to evaluate the file path lengths for your files inside SOLIDWORKS PDM. If you've ever seen one of these error messages related to the maximum character length for SOLIDWORKS PDM file paths, you're probably wondering which one of your file paths exceeds this maximum character length and which of your file paths comes close to this maximum character length limit. This maximum character limit is not a SOLIDWORKS PDM limitation, but a Windows limitation. According to different sources, this character limit can be anywhere between 255 and 260 characters. However, it's still a good idea to keep your file paths as short as possible. Let me demonstrate. First, log into your SOLIDWORKS PDM file vault as the admin user. In the root location of the vault, select the entire contents of the vault, and perform a get latest version. We can see that there's a problem with the file path lengths. However, we are not sure where these files are located. So for now, we will just click OK. Next, launch the command prompt by typing CMD into the Windows search bar. Take note of this file location given here. In my case, it's C users Dion. This is where the output file will be generated. To generate this output file, we are going to type a script into the command prompt. We are going to use this script. The highlighted part of this script indicates the root location of your SOLIDWORKS PDM file vault. Ensure that this is typed in correctly. After typing the script, we can now press enter. You can now close the command prompt. Now let's browse to the output file. In my case, it will be C users Dion. In this location, you will now find a file called file names. Open this file. Press Ctrl A to select all of the contents of this file and press Ctrl C. Next, launch Microsoft Excel. Paste the contents into cell A1 inside Excel. With the file paths in Excel, we can now evaluate the character length. Select the entire column B. In the formula bar, enter the text equals LEN and then in brackets A1. Press Ctrl and Enter to apply the formula to the entire column B. Select the entire Excel spreadsheet by clicking the top left corner. Go to the Data tab. Select Sort. Clear the option My Data Has Headers and sort by column B. Ensure that you sort from largest to smallest. Click OK. The first row indicates a folder path of only 247 characters. However, this folder is likely to contain additional files of which the file paths might exceed our maximum character limit and therefore they could not be copied to the local cache. This would be the most likely location to find our problem files. So let's go ahead and copy this folder location. And we are going to paste this inside Windows Explorer and press enter to browse to this location. We have now found our problem file. In this case, the easiest way of dealing with this problem would be to rename any of the folders inside this folder path and giving them shorter names. Let's give this a try. The error has disappeared and the file can now be checked out. If the problem persists, some of the other locations at the top of the Excel spreadsheet can also be checked. Thanks for watching.